Hi, glad you're here. These are true confessions of a whacked out artist um, and a chronic pain survivor. And I say survivor because that's who I am. I don't let things uh, defeat me. I figure there's enough time for that in the grave. So, I've made some notes and I want to tell you some of my thoughts. So, welcome and thanks for coming. I want to talk about what I'm doing and why I do the things the way I do them. As a social being who's out there, people want to know who I am and I really want to get to know them too. That's why I have helping artist uh, forums, communities, where whatever, where people can come share their love of art in all things artsy and where I do my art world things. There are subjects that are not appropriate for my audience and it is not that I don't wish to be authentic, but that is not what I'm sharing with my audience on that social feed. I'm passionate about my beliefs and values, but they are mine and are not included in these groups. Because of some of my associations with other creatives on social media, there's also this other world where I speak with my friends who are struggling with life issues. By this, I mean living with chronic illness, pain, death, and dying. I find the need to compartmentalize these opposing things in my life so as not to confuse them and confuse my viewers. If I all of a sudden in my art channel started doing something very different, say I was doing a cooking show or a gardening show, you would wonder if my direction had changed and maybe choose not to follow me in that direction. That is totally understandable. I have my art channel for sharing my art and promoting other artists. Shell and I have our live presence on YouTube to share with our community in a more inclusive one, <clears throat> excuse me, social setting. The things that are discussed in that live video are things that we share with each other about art and with our art community. There are a lot of things that I am more personal about that don't get shared with everyone. We all have those things that need to remain our own and it's not a place for me to take some of my daily thoughts. I will keep my whining self in check and push her back into the lockbox she belongs in. <clears throat> These are very personal issues and really do not cross over into my creative life other than being put in my own private journal. That doesn't mean I don't need help and that I don't want to share about these issues. It just means that there's a breaking point and we need to be helping, not hurting. Cindy has formed a great community of people who are struggling as we all do with chronic pain and illness. What I find most helpful is talking with friends about these things that we have in common. We need to be able to laugh and cry together and hold each other in all those ways that are most human and help each other find joy in living our daily lives. Cindy asked me to talk to you a little bit about my journey down life's path to where I am physically and mentally today. If you're interested in that, I will be putting that in Cindy's Facebook group. You can find that group in the description box below. The reason I created Misdiagnosed is because I did not want to confuse my listeners and community. What I did want to do is to keep you up to date and to share some of my journey down this particular road. I'm hoping that by being transparent and letting you see my attempts to overcome adversity, we can lift each other up, put a happy thought into the world, and find joy in living the chronically ill life. Running multiple accounts is difficult but necessary, so as not to confuse you and other followers. If I can keep things compartmentalized in the correct place, it helps me stay focused and moving forward with what matters to me. There will be times where things spill over, but for the most part, this is my plan. My friends and family are on my Facebook page. My art is on my Bits and Pieces page. 
controversy and negativity are not things that are uplifting and are not part of my feed. Sharing hard times is okay and everyone has them. I hope I can be a good shoulder for those that need one. Thanks for listening and for your kind comments. Remember, we never know all that someone else may be going through. Be the rainbow in someone's stormy day. And I'm sending you hugs. And remember, I'm here for you. We can talk about a lot of things. Just, you know, it's going to be in whatever appropriate group it needs to be in. And I hope you have a lovely day and are healthy and your loved ones are all safe and cared for. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now.